Hey everybody, with one wisdom, we are back for part 27 of our Mystery Case Files Malgrave Incident <clears throat> playthrough. As you may recall, last time we uh, did the puzzle with the bolt that we uh, had collected earlier in the game to get into the barn, and that's actually where we're going to pick it up. I'll probably check out, see if there's anything worth seeing, and uh, do this hidden object scene. <clears throat> Oh, uh, obviously. Oh, so there's a safe there. Uh, I, you know, when I saw that initially, you know, before we actually did this playthrough, I was thinking it was like a, uh, a, uh, engine or something, you know, for like a robot looking thing. Um, doesn't look like there's anything else we can do. Initially, so I'll head this way. <clears throat> I don't know if he's gonna climb the hay. It's amazing he'll climb that and some of the stuff he won't do. I'm thinking we can pull this. Uh, maybe drop that. Okay, so here's a better look at that. You know what I call the crab robot. Uh, I guess one, it looks like a crab, and two, it does kind of have a claw, so, you know, that's my logic. <laughs> uh, I don't know, that's a postcard or something else. Uh, as with most old wood barns, uh, you always hear the rafters creaking. Awesome. Uh, hopefully we shouldn't have walked up there first. Keep that in mind in case we ever you know, have to do something. Uh, for now, I guess we'll head back down. Uh, we'll go ahead and head over here. Again, I hope that didn't like block me getting to. Okay, a robot cobbled together from tractor parts. So I don't know if we're going to be robbing parts from here for the tractor or. Well, I did use a tractor light already. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we don't even do anything with the tractor. I'd assume one of them needs to be built. I uh, don't know which it is. The robot needs some juice, but the switch appears dead. Okay. But yeah, we're going to actually walk in there too. Uh, interesting abstraction. Okay, so we'll archive that. Probably a clue. That's a uh, lid or something. So, okay. Come down and see if we can click that. 1910 Herring Vaults, 352212. Okay. So, maybe we can mess that later. Half tempted to walk over there, but I guess we'll just go ahead and do this first. Okay, so we're out here in the uh, barn. I think there's a mouse looking at me. Uh, that kind of odd, <laughs> you know, gets your attention. But uh, and a moth, they're annoying as they are uh, in real life in a video game. A uh, three-letter P, sausage, a teacup, Easter eggs, a necklace, a gnome. Uh, <laughs> I have really uh, smart-ass comments for that, but I'll keep them to myself. Uh, Black Widow, uh, Ryan, a lightning bug, a flute, a feather, and a door handle. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say something here. Oh, yeah, there's a little, what looks like their push pin right here, which would be a thumbtack. Now uh, that's the door handle. Uh, hopefully we get to archive that one, or inventory it, rather. Uh, now it's just a matter we hadn't been here before, so... There's a letter P. I can see them giving us that, too, but I don't think they ever have with the multiple 
uh, items before. There's like a gold pig or a bear. Um, there would be the Easter eggs. Flute feather. Oh, is that a lightning bug? Yes, it is. <clears throat> I think that's the Black Widow. Um, oh, you can open that. But we're not going to do that yet. <laughs> can you do anything with that? Maybe it, I guess it's one piece with it. Oh yeah, I should be looking for peas in this mess. Another can of beans. That looks like a diamond or a ring. I wouldn't think a gnome would be too hard to find, which oh, brings another crappy cartoon to mind, David and the Gnome. Or I think that's it. Yeah, he's like the little gnome doctor guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, some of you people are probably going to hate me if you go and look up Flipper and David the Gnome and all this pointless trash I have stuck in my memory. Um, it's amazing what the human mind can, you know, keep that uh, is relatively useless, <laughs> you know. Uh, at the time, I didn't know I'd talk about it years down the road. Uh, that's a feather that was hidden pretty well. Um, I'm still not going to open that, I'm sure you can tell. I thought that was a teacup. Well, their teacups tend to actually be pretty, pretty accurate. You know, they're not. There's a knife hidden there. Uh, peanut, fish, watch, their diamond, glasses. And basically everything we don't need to find is what I find. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's weird. There's a rose. Golf club. Or a golf ball, sorry. I'm tired. It is uh, 1 a.m. I'm actually getting an earlier start for a change. Uh, we'll just open it and, you know, what the heck. I doubt everything's in there, but... Um... Okay, that would be the flute. So it at least helped us found that. Uh, oh, you know, I'd seen that and wondered if it was a P and I wouldn't seen any, so I figured I'd click it and I guess we were lucky. Uh, you know, a good hiding place for a necklace would be like the tooth line or something, but I don't guess they did that, so... That teddy bear, I wish I could grab for the uh, postcard. I mean, I wonder what that does. Oh, I guess a mouse just stays there. Like a permanent fixture or something. Oh, well. Technically, uh, <laughs> if we go x rated, that could be a necklace, but, uh, you, you know. Just for the simple fact I'm not seeing it, I figured, what the heck. So a rind, a necklace, a gnome, teacup, sausage, and another letter P. It's like a Norman Rockwell type deal. Uh, it has a ribbon on it. Uh, maybe an owl or something. Hmm. That's a pitcher, I guess, not a teacup. Oh, I didn't click that earlier because I thought it was a mug. I guess it was kind of sloped facing us. I actually see the necklace too now. It was hidden really well. Oh. I saw his head. It actually looked more like a little pig toy. You know, like garden type stuff. Uh, so a Ryan sausage and a letter P. You know, earlier I found the Big Dipper in one of these puzzles. I figures we'd have a constellation now. And find this stupid thing. Uh, seems like letter P. You know, you can hide one over here. Uh, or Leo. Okay, well. Uh, I don't practice Zoroastrianism, so 
that'll be my excuse for not finding it. Hmm. Letter P and sausage. I don't know if it's like Link or... You know, what? Oh, here we go. Several links thrown together. So now we need Orion and a letter P. So... Where the heck are they? Man, it's one of those ones that have to be just the perfect spot here or something. I mean, again, I see all kinds of stuff we don't need, you know. Which hopefully I just remember it all when we have to come back here, which I'm sure we will. Ah, P, I think. That was kind of tricky. It looked like it was made out of puzzle pieces or something. Cat food strung out. So now I just need the constellation. If that's what they're talking about, I mean, I guess it could be something totally different. Double check in here. I mean, that's something I have no clue what, sadly. Oh. Is that, I think? Yeah. Okay. So we didn't even have to use a magnifying glass on that one. And, uh, well, I'm into 11 minutes, so I, I guess it took a little while. But, well, we did explore, so. Ah, and we get the door handle. Uh, where was it? Um, geez, I don't even remember now. Uh, I know we were just there. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. I haven't edited. I've only uh, done two of the playthroughs tonight. So, uh, We'll see if we can do anything different here. We can't. I was thinking maybe that teddy bear would be visible. I could, like grab it for our little poster. It seemed like I'm missing more teddy bears than anything. Uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and head back here. <laughs> Looks like we got another machine or something to play with. I guess the barrel is empty. Ah, uh, butcher table. that stupid handle spot. That's so bad I can't remember. I got home from work, looked like it was going to rain, played, uh, actually did uh, five parts, 22 through 26, and then uh, this is 27. Uh, okay, so that needs electricity. Um, we got a water hose if we could short something. I just thought I'd try since I was here. And I actually really wanted to try that on here. Oh. <sighs> you know. Kind of wish the arrow, I mean, I understand why they're there. You know, they want people to know you can do that. But at the same time, I kind of wish they were, like, more precise or something. Okay. So we'll back out of here. Uh, there's something I can pull, I thought it said. Postcard. No. Okay. Seems like. Well, I mean, there's the you know 
old school farmers and there's new guys who like, you know, turn everything into a corn maze or something. Uh, maybe this was that type of deal. I don't know if a lot of people notice, but you know, each little area actually does have its own music, so that's kind of, you know, interesting. Okay, now if I could quit being stupid, I remember. I mean, I'm really not getting enough sleep, but. Again, you know, I'm, I am here, so why not? Okay, well, I guess it does have the uh, spot still, so I will back out of there. Now, did I just come from here? Am I still trying to figure out their positioning in this maze? Oh, yeah, it was a windmill. So that worked out well, jarred in my memory. I still think there's probably a couple of hidden object scenes, like maybe in that first field that we didn't, you know, head into. 16 minutes. We're getting close. Oh, you know, go back. It's up we go now. last time. Oh, do we have to hit the lever again? Okay. So when I came up, you know, we didn't have to. So I'm not sure. I think I'm going to actually end it here. Oh. Uh, I mean, that looks like a perfect fit for the door. But, uh, what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and uh, end the playthrough here. Uh, part 27. We're going to come right back. And, uh, it's only 1.30 now, so I got some a little more time left in me, but uh, I'll end this one here. Should be able to you know, upload and edit quicker, and then uh, we'll see if we can't get in the windmill. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, comments, feel free to leave one. I will do my best to help you out. Thanks.